All right. Remember that passive transport means with a concentration gradient. Facilitated diffusion is using a protein, but still to have something flow down its concentration gradient toward equilibrium. Um, but we don't always want equilibrium, right? Inside and outside of our cells need to be in disequilibrium. That's important for homeostasis. Here is a little graphic kind of emphasizing that. The graph below is showing ion concentrations inside and outside the cell, ECF and ICF. These are normal concentrations that must be kept in disequilibrium, unequal concentrations. Um, for example, high sodium and chloride outside the cell and high potassium inside the cell. Maintaining disequilibrium takes energy because our system is always going down equilibrium um, towards, towards equilibrium. So maintaining this, this disequilibrium, this difference in concentration requires energy, and this is gonna be in the form of a pump. So pumping something um, is, is using energy. So the most common type of pump we will see is the sodium potassium pump also abbreviated NAK pump. You will see it also called sodium potassium ATP pump. I don't care if you write the ATP in there. When you're saying pump, it's implied that it uses ATP because pumps use ATP. They require energy. ATP, um, there's an ATP hydrolysis enzyme in the part of this pump that takes ATP and breaks it down into ADP and a phosphate group. When this happens, energy can be used. Um, it actually is a change of shape of the pump so that we can move sodium ions out and potassium in. You don't need to know this, but it's actually three sodium and two potassium, three sodium out, two potassium in for each cycle. Um, this gradient created by this pump is a form of potential energy. It's making a battery. So we can then, that's important for just how our bodies are at rest, but also this difference in sodium is a drive for doing other things. So the action potential and um, co-transport are going to use this gradient of high sodium outside, low sodium inside. That's a battery. We can use that energy for to do stuff. And potassium is the opposite. Um, so that's active transport. It requires ATP because we're not moving down the gradient. Okay, let's do a couple of learning checks here. Here are your options and explain. Number two. And number three.